everyone, welcome back to Cindy and Starla, and if you are new here, welcome. Welcome, enjoy the videos. Videos. So today, me and Sydney are going to be doing super smart kindergarten giant activity floor pad. So let's get started. So you could do reading, writing, science, creativity, math, music, nature, and social skills just in this floor pad. That's that's a miracle. And then there's 128 color pages and eight subjects based on national early learning standards. And it also includes 100 plus stickers and a giant wipe off board. So I don't know what that means by giant giant wipe off board. I guess this. I don't I don't know. Let's just open it. Okay, so I have all these cool stickers that we could put on and then We've done one page before Sydney did a lot of writing here and we colored a picture of herself Write about yourself in space below in the spaces below So yeah, we've done this page and now we're going to do this page All right, so let me do this, sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now we're going to learn about the letter A. So A is for alligator. Uh, yeah. Alla? Uh, yeah. Gator. Uh, good. Alligator. Okay. So, right here, <laughs> to write the letter A, it says you go down one, two, one, two three. three. So you're gonna go one, one, one. Two, two, three, three. Okay, so we're going to go down again. One, two, three. Go down. One. Go down from here. Two, three. All right. Try a little bit more by yourself. Or hold on. I'm going to just do a little dots right here and a little dots here. So. You're gonna go down here to there. Go down to there to here. Yes. And now I'm gonna do a little, little dot here. And then you're gonna go here to there. Here to there. Go right here. And then draw a line to here. Or right there, that works too. And now draw a line right there. No, not right here, right here. No, draw a line. Not, you gotta do it this way. There you go. Okay, so let's try one more time. We're going to do a dot here to there. Start from here and then you start here. And then you do it again to right here. There you go, and then draw a line right here. There you go, there you go. Now you get it, you draw a line right there. Okay. So this one you do it in one go. So you just do a curved line right here. And then you go up and then down. So you go like this, a curved line, you go up and down. And then you have the letter A. Can you say A? A. A, this would be the lowercase A. So we do curved line up down. Curved line up down, curved line up down, curved line up down, and now try a little bit more by yourself. There you go, yeah. Curved line. There you go. She did most most of these. I just guide her. This one I was mostly in control, but these ones she did mostly by herself. Okay, Sydney. So now you're going to trace out the A. A for ant. Can you say ant? A for anchor. A for acorn. And then A for apple. Can you say apple? Apple. Apple. So we've done this whole page. So we got alligator, ant, anchor, acorn, and apple. Okay. Let's do another page. Now we gotta tuck this behind. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. There's another there's another side. Hold on guys. This is a really big floor pad. Thing. Okay, so behind it, 
behind the same page, we have more activities. Okay. So, middle letters. Choose which letter goes in the middle of each word and fill in the space. All right. We actually have a bunch of coloring pencils. So, to make it fun, instead of just using the regular pencil, we could use color pencils. Do you want to use green? We. Green. So, which letter goes right here? O, A, or I? We've got to find one. Which one goes right here? Which letter goes right here? O. O! Good job! So, we're going to write O for boy. Boy. Okay. Let me, like, go over it more so it's darker so you guys can see it better. There we go. So... The answer was O. And what letter goes right here? O. O also goes there. So now we're going to use our orange color pencil. Circle O. Hey, it's actually the same color as the orange behind the O. And then we got O for dog. And now this would be a sun. So what letter would go right here? Yo. You. So do you want to pick out another color pencil? Yeah, we got this erasable purple one. Okay. So circle the U. And now write U. Sun. 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 And then here we got A. I think A will go right here. A. A. So then let's do a blue. Can you say blue? Ew. Blue. So you're gonna circle the letter A and then write the letter A for a bat. A bat. 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 Then here would be bus, so you would go right there. So let's use pink. 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 Actually, we probably should be sharpening these pencils. We have an electric sharpener. All right, so circle the U and I'll write U. 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 U for bus. Bus. Buzz. Bus. And then which letter would go in the middle of this? I. I pick out another color pencil. Yeah, this is like an orangish peach color. It's called red orange. So you want to circle this? Circle this? Yeah. And now write I. Pig. 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 And which letter would go right here? A. A. So get out a color pencil and circle the A. Get, get out another color pencil. Green again? Green. green. I think it's a different type of green. So we're going to circle the A. <laughs> and now, do you want to write an A? Yeah, hat. 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 Okay. Now, which letter will go right here? Hon, hon. The answer is actually E. Hen. E. E, yes. Hen. Instead of hon or hoon or however you would say that, it's hen. Hen is like a chicken kind of thing. All right, pick out another color pencil. We have so many coloring pencils. She's looking at picking that one. Orange? Oh, it's orange. Okay, circle the E. Yes. All right. Now I'll guide you for drawing E, writing E. Hen. Hey. Hen. And now, what would this say if there is if there is an O there? Would that be fox? Can you say fox? Fox. Fox. O. Circle O. Good job. You did that all by yourself. All right. So now. We're going to write O. O. O for fox. 
O pots. It's a box. Well, actually, the O is in the middle of it, so what you would really say is F for fox, but O is in the middle of it? I don't know. Right now, we're just filling in the blanks. All right, so what leather, not leather, what letter would go right here? You? You. You. And you could write down mug. What color is this? You. Blue. All right, so we're going to write down you. We're actually gonna circle the U as well. All right, now, what would go right here? Which letter would go right here? Weak. What? What letter is this? A. A. Oh, you said green, you wanna use green. Okay, yes, 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 and then this is the letter A. Circle it. Good job, and now you wanna to try to write it? Write the letter A. Get to a curved line and go up and down for cat. Good, good. Cat. Last one. Um, I think this would be toy. It looks like a toy plane. And so what would be in the middle would be O. Can you say O? Oh. Oh. So find a color pencil. Ooh, this is a really fun neon yellow that you picked. Okay. So circle the O and then write in O. Toy. Yay. All right, so let's do one more page and then we'll call it a day. Okay, I flipped it over weird because it's like a really big, it's a really big thing happening here. Okay, so next would be, next would be the letter B. We've done A and now we're going to do B. Can you say B? B. B. All right, pick out a color pencil. Pick out any color pencil you want. using a tiny orange let's show the color so we got this really pretty neon orange can you say orange oh it's orange all right so the steps that it's shown is says that you go down for one and then you go two so one would be one line and then two there we go so we're gonna draw one line here and then right there let's draw a line down Draw a line down, down. Okay, I'm gonna do a little dots here because then you just draw random lines all over the place. Okay, so go from here and go down there. Go down to this line, to this line, down. No, just one straight line, straight. Straight down. Mm. You go like that. No, even right when I'm trying to help you, you try to go a different way, like this, and then you go like that. So you do straight line, like that. And then you do two curved bumps. Yeah, so go straight down. And two curved bumps. We have one more. We have enough for one more B. Can you say B? B. B. So here's uppercase B, like we did last time with the letter A. And then this would be lowercase. So this would be all in one go. So one line here, and on the same turn, you go like this. Like you don't do a line here, lift it up, and then do a curved line. No, you just do it all in one go. So we're gonna draw a line here, and then do a curved line. Just one curved line, not two. And then we have lowercase b. Can you say b? B. B. Okay, let's pick out the, oh my god, I'm stuttering. Let's pick out another coloring pencil. Which one? You have a lot of different colors. Which one? Yellow? Yellow. Yellow. That's a good color. We got orange and now we have yellow. It's a really pretty yellow. It's called honeybee. Okay, so B for bird. Can you say bird? Bird. Bird. So we're gonna write B. Actually, let's sharpen this pencil too. Let's do it with our electric pencil sharpener. Get ready to hear a loud noise. Get ready to hear a loud noise. And then just like magic, it's already sharpened for you and you don't really have to do any work. Okay, so we got bird. And now we're going to do B for boy. Can you say boy? 
Boy. Draw a look. Boy. And now draw a line like that. Yeah, you're tracing it and you go, yes, good job. And then you go around. And so you go down and then go, and then you go around. Yay, good job. Because we use a yellow, it's hard to see it, but she did it. Okay, so now on the other side, there's also a page. Ah, it's so big. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So, beginning letters. Draw a line between each object and its matching first letter. Okay, Sydney. So, let's use... Let's use this color. Do you want to use red? Can you say red? Red. We're going to use this one again. Okay, so A. Which one of these begins with an A? So, we got pancake, volcano, tent eggs or nest and then we also have grapes caterpillar leaf bean and uh, jelly beans feather helicopter koala bat donuts skunk wand shake oh oh so you don't have to use all the letters of the alphabets because there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen items here or things and then there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six letters so there is more letters right here than there are objects or animals and stuff so you don't have to use all the letters okay never mind i don't know if i'm making sense here but feather what letter does feather start with I think it starts with F. 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 So draw a line from the feather to F. Right there. And as you can see, they showed an example leaf starts with an L. So you draw a line there to there. Okay. So what does the grape start with? G. 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 So we're going to do a purple pencil and draw a line here. To the letter G. Can you say G? C. G. And what letter does T? What letter? Oh my gosh, I'm stuttering. Oh my gosh. Tent starts with the letter T. 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 Okay, pick out any color pencil you want. Pick out a color pencil. Brown? Brown. Brown. She picked this brown pencil. Okay, so draw a line here to there, here to there. Good job, Sydney. Okay, and now we got nest. Can you say nest? Met. Nest. So pick out a color pencil and we're going to draw a line here to the letter N. Here to there. Yeah, this pencil is double sided like one side is sharpened, this side is sharpened too. Actually, it's not really that sharp, but I mean, it's both sides you can use. Okay, so N for nest. And so now, and yeah, nest. It meant. And then caterpillar, we'll start with the letter C. So pick out a pencil. You wanna use pink? Pink. Pink, okay. So we're gonna draw a line here to there. And then volcano starts with a V. So we could draw a line here to there. And then pancake starts with the letter P. Can you say P? P. Peak. P, so get a color pencil and we're going to draw a line here to there. So draw a line here to there. Oh no, not to R. You gotta draw a line here to the letter P. 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 Okay. And so now we have beans or jelly beans. I think we would just say beans or whatever, which starts with the letter B. So we're going to draw a line here to there. Here to here. Yes, good job. Okay. So we've got feather, beans, caterpillar, leaf, grapes, nest 
tense volcano and pancakes. Now we gotta do this half and then we'll be done. Okay, so pick out a color pencil. Pink. Pink. Okay, what does donut start with? It starts with a D. Can you say D? D. D. So you would draw a line here to there. Donut. Donut. And then bat also starts with a B. So you would draw a line here to there. And then this is also jelly bean. So I don't know if you're connected to the J. So let's also connect it to the J. Because you could either go like beans or jelly beans. And B start beans start with the letter B and jelly starts with the letter J. So I guess you could go either way. So yeah. Okay. So we got helicopter, which starts with an H. So pick out a pencil. And I'll draw a line here to the letter H. There we go. And koala starts with the letter K. Can you say K? K. K. So we'll draw a line here all the way to here. Skunk starts with the letter S. So we'll draw a line here to there. And wand starts with a W. Can you say W? Yeah. W. So then we'll connect it here to there. And then this looks like a milkshake. Can you say milkshake? Right, right. So you can connect the milkshake here to the letter M. Milk starts with M, milkshake. And then this looks like a rocket ship. Can you say rocket? What I say? Ship. All right, connect it here to the letter R. Yay! We finished our pages! All right, and so here is the back of this, but hold on, we gotta turn it around. Okay, so Sydney, for doing such a great job, you get to pick out a sticker. Pick out any sticker you want, and then you can place it on a page. Great work! All right, so get your great work which is an alligator, which is great because we did the letter A. All right, you wanna place it anywhere you want. Okay, all right, now pick out another sticker for the other page you've done. Pick out another sticker. Well done. Oh, the screechy noises. Okay. All right, so put this one anywhere you want. You keep putting it in the middle. I keep saying anywhere you want, but you probably want to see what it says. So maybe we could put it up here. Well done. There we go. So that is it for today, everyone. We really hope you all enjoyed it, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Pick up your favorite page. Yeah, we have all these other pages we're going to do very soon. But not today, because there's so many pages. There's like 120 something pages, I think. This is your favorite page? We haven't done this one yet. Are you excited for when we do get to do this? This one? Hit maze. Hippopotamus. Hippo. Hippo. Bye-bye. Hippopotamus.